I'm Donna Anderson, and this is my story, The Soldier. William and Lily bought the 250-year-old farmhouse sight unseen because they both felt it summoning them through the computer screen. The agent said it sat empty for years after the owner died in Vietnam. But somehow, it didn't show signs of neglect and included the antique furnishings. They couldn't believe their good fortune. Lily bustled about the kitchen unpacking. William, please turn over the dirt for our garden. I want to plant as soon as possible. William grabbed a shovel and started for the place Lily had marked when the rustling leaves of the old sycamore called to him. Its wide branches beckoned like open arms. Drawing close, he experienced a moment of deja vu. William saw himself planting a sapling in that location 250 years earlier. He smirked at his overactive imagination. He entered the tree's canopy and waves of bygone memories swept over him. Dizzy, he sat down, leaned against the trunk and closed his eyes. The visions came in bursts. He was a farmer, his bride, Lillian, was dressed like Martha Washington. Washington, he'd left to take up arms and serve under General George Washington. A march to Philadelphia, Cliveden, gunfire, searing pain, darkness. William gulped for air and moved to stand but spotted the gnarled scar of an X carved into the tree's base. He felt compelled to dig. The shovel hit something solid a foot deep. Kneeling, he pulled a small metal box from the cold earth. It felt warm to the touch, vibrating, almost like it was alive. He opened it with shaking hands. A small tintype photo lay on top. The face of a Civil War soldier stared back at him. An eerily familiar face, his own. I died at Gettysburg. Lily Rose mourned me. The thought flashed as a distant memory. Below it lay a cabinet card photo of a World War I soldier. Again, the face was his and he died in France, leaving Lily Beth behind. A Kodak snapshot from World War II. He died on Peleliu, making Lil a widow. A Polaroid of a soldier dressed in a formal uniform standing by this tree before leaving Liliana and heading to his demise in Vietnam. The Polaroid was the first image in color, which vividly showed the soldier's heterochromia, different colored eyes. He rifled through the images, looking closer at the older black and white and sepia ones. Sure enough, the variation in the eye colors was visible. He knew what he had to do. Lifting his phone, he looked at his face in the screen, focusing on his eyes. One brown, one blue. He snapped a selfie and tossed the phone in the box, which he closed and reburied. Somehow he knew when he came back in the future, the mobile's battery would still be charged. William, turn that ground over before you leave on deployment next week, Lily laughed. Yes, dear, he replied, walking away from the tree. Outside the canopy, William looked around, confused, wondering where he'd left his phone. 